There was that Mickelson guy and that kid from Forget Ireland. It. You're That's only making yourself right look dumber by doing well, this. Well, thank God Tiger's back. I'm never going to forgive golf for making me learn all those golfers. All right, get your golf out of my face. It's time for the face-off. The Packers went again to go 12-0, and, and everyone's bored with their success, including Aaron Rodgers, who promises fans he'd kill himself by the end of the season. Said Rodgers, winning has lost its thrill, and losing obviously is worse. Now my death is all that can give our season meaning. Love this move. The team's already rallying behind their quarterback, who's willing to blast himself into oblivion for the good of the game. Knowing Rodgers, he'll keep it classy. One shot to the temple from his dad's Army 45, half a glass of bourbon and a Bible on the table next to him, just like how Johnny Unitas went It doesn't out. matter how he does it. What's important is that he commits suicide and isn't around to ruin the season with his perfection. If Rodgers really cares about the game and his team, he'll find a way to take Favre with him. If either Favre or Rodgers dies, football gets better, just in different ways. Now some bad news for football fans. We have to talk about the New York Jets. The Jets announced today that Mark Sanchez has suffered an injury to his right pussy finger. Ooh, an injured pussy finger is the last thing you want if you're a sexy NFL quarterback living in New York City. He needs to rest that digit until he's absolutely sure it heals. You don't want to aggravate it and get shot. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this injury has been nagging him all year. He's been sloppy with his mechanics, using bad motion, forcing it, just locking in and firing away. At this level, you have to work past a dinged up pussy finger or a numb titty hand. Just because Sanchez can't cut the mustard doesn't mean he can't lick the jaw. Doc, you folksy pervert, no one wants a paddle on their diddling finger. <sighs> he might have to take a back seat to Mark Brunel, who said he's down to go out this weekend. Brunel's pussy finger is 41 years old. He can't keep up with the pace of today's finger bang. Well, that may be, or you just may be a fat idiot. The Florida Marlins announced today that they will offer the stupidest and most ridiculous possible contracts to any and all free agents. The Marlins are putting their crazy where their mouths are, giving Jose Reyes over $100 million for six half seasons and three hamstring surgeries. They're going to need more crazy than that to compete in the NL East. Look at the Mets. You can't just overpay for your big name Santanas and Beltrons. You need your Jason's Bay and retired Benias to fill out your payroll. The Fisher plane to sign both Albert Pujols and Prince Fielder for a $400 million platoon. Throw $150 mil at Grady Sizemore and they'll be the craziest stupid team in the MLB. All right, stick around, Goopheads. We'll be back with our Cowboys-Giants preview. It's a must-win game for both teams. That's why I've got both teams winning. It's my Doc Lock of the Week. Wait, we never approved that segment, Doc. I don't need your approval to make Doc Locks.